Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Windows Performance Review Time. We're running this today on this HP Notebook 15.6 inch Full HD 1080p laptop. I previously reviewed this laptop. Link will be in the video description below, but the short version is this thing is awesome. For $450-ish in September of 2016 when I'm filming this, this is one of the best 15 inch laptops you can buy. Why? Intel's i5 6th generation 6200U processor, two cores, four threads, up to 2.8 gigahertz. What does all that mean? It's a really good chip for basic Windows tasks. Web browsing, watching videos, playing light games, um, Skype or Facebook, and basically just running general Windows programs, Microsoft Office, maybe some image editing. It's a great value for the money. It comes with eight gigabytes of system RAM, which is excellent. Most laptops under $500 only come with four, so eight is really good. It comes with a 128 gigabyte solid state drive. Now a hard drive is an option instead. In the video description below will be links to both. I recommend the SSD option because at this price point, the fact that you can get an SSD is awesome. Much faster boot performance, much faster program loading time, but of course you give up space to get there because 128 gigs is a lot less than one terabyte, which is what you get in the hard drive version. Your choice, but I'm showing you the SSD version. This has a DVD reader and writer, a webcam, memory card reader, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. It's fully loaded, great machine. I love this thing, good value for the money. So we're here in Windows. The first thing I'm gonna show you is reboot performance. Now I just finished filming first boot and Windows update. So I've not done anything to the machine since then. I'm gonna come down to the start button. I'm gonna click power and I'm gonna time it from when I click restart and restart. Now, I'm not gonna time it live while I film, but when I edit this, I'll time it and I'll put the times up here. This machine should reboot very, very quickly because of that solid state drive. In fact, it boots so quickly, it's really not even worth putting into suspend or hibernate. Just turn it on and off. There we go, we're in Windows. Is it usable? Yeah, I'm fully used. That is crazy fat, that's seconds. And that is a full reboot, not a start from the power button, which is maybe half that time. So just shut it down and turn it on. It's so fast, who cares? So what about web browsing? Well, let's open up Microsoft Edge, which comes with Windows 10. And the first thing we're gonna do is go get uh, Google's Chrome. Now it is true that the download speed of this is dependent upon your internet connection, but to be completely honest, these web browsers are so small, that part doesn't really matter. It's the install speed and how quickly it's usable that really matters. On your marks, get set, uh, downloading. Okay, so it takes five seconds to download, but downloads my internet connection. This installing part, that is the computer. Now, how often do you install a web browser? Honestly, not that often. This isn't really the important part. The important part is when we're gonna have 15 web browser tabs open and see how well that works. So let's see here. Now that we have Chrome open, let's go get Firefox. I try to do the same Windows stuff in each Windows performance review. The reason is if you watch my channel a lot, and if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe with the big red button right down there. The idea is that you can compare the various machines I review. This machine to a desktop to another laptop. If I do similar things on each machine, you have an idea of the relative performance. If I just give you some benchmark score from a benchmark program, what does that mean? But if I show you actually using programs, then you have a real idea of what to expect if you buy this computer. Furthermore, you can do all this yourself. Try following along on your own machine. Try opening the various tabs that I open. Try opening the programs I open. The first thing we're going to do is go to YouTube. YouTube.com slash C slash tech deals because I have my own custom URL now. I know it's not major, but I'm excited about it. So yeah, if you go to youtube.com slash C for channel slash tech deals, that's me. And there I am. We'll go to videos. Now I'm not gonna open a ton. Why? Because this is a dual core laptop. Usually on quad core machines, I'll open eight to 12. On dual core machines, I usually like to open four or five. Let's try five. This is, has an SSD, this is pretty good. One, two, 
two, three, four, five. Let's see how well this goes. That's quick. They're all playing. Now these are not playing in HD by default at the standard uh, zoom rate. They're at 480p. Let's fix that, shall we? Is that going to make it go? No, it won't. Sometimes it does that. Some, you know what? We'll do this. There we go. Let's make all of these uh, HD. What I'm doing is I'm forcing it to almost full screen. Let's stress this processor, shall we? So now these videos are playing at 720p at 60 frames per second, which is fairly demanding. And we've got five of them running. For a $450 dual core four threaded laptop, that's pretty good. And they're actually, well, that's still playing an ad. And they're all playing. Take a look at that. Look how nice that is. No issues. Instant switching. How's our CPU doing? If you want to follow along, if you've never opened your task manager, go down to the bottom bar, right click on your task bar, and choose task manager, third up from the bottom. When it opens, if you've never opened it, it'll look like this. Click more details down at the bottom, and it looks like this. Click the second tab over, over from the top, performance, and this gives you a summary of the system's overall performance. We are currently using 41% of our 8 gigs of RAM. This is why I don't believe 4 gigabytes is enough anymore. I mean, for very simple tasks, for very basic computer use, yes, 4 gigs is enough. Web browsers use a ton of RAM these days. We're using 41% of our system RAM, and all I've got is a couple of videos playing. CPU, 25%. What does that mean? We're using a full core. 50% actually is using both cores. Because we have four threads, we're hyper-threaded. 50% CPU usage on a hyper-threaded chip is actually 100% of the real core usage. Disk, not at all. No big deal. Let me minimize that. So we are playing, hey, there's Battlefield 1. We're playing five HD videos perfectly. Let's open Chrome, shall we? I go to Yahoo on all of mine because Yahoo is a very demanding page with lots of detail on the page. There's lots of um, processor intensive elements on the page. It's a technical thing, but try Yahoo on your machine and try this. Fantasy, NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, and tennis, just for fun. Five Yahoo tabs. That's pretty smooth. Now, it hasn't loaded some of it yet because it's downloading it. There are hundreds of elements on Yahoo's page. Yahoo, frankly, needs to update their page. It's technically out of date. So all these elements load individually, and it actually creates on five pages. There may be a 1,000 individual get send requests to multiple Yahoo servers, which really stresses the machine. Very smooth. I mean, there's a little bit of lag as I change here because of the detail of the pages. If we wait a second and let it load, there it goes. Now, can you get faster performance than this? Yes. Can you get a laptop for $450 that's faster than this? No. And that's the point I want to make. No, this is not the fastest machine I've ever reviewed, but for this price point, it's the fastest machine not only have I reviewed, but I believe you can buy because this was not sent to me as a sample. I bought this. This is a good machine. So now I'm going to click a link. Those are sponsored. I don't want those. I'm going to click a link on each one of these. Let's see how well it loads. Look at that. That was really, really nice. How are our videos doing? Perfection. And these aren't just waiting for us. They're playing. If you look, that's four and a half minutes into the video. Four and a half minutes. Oh, I've got shells on the way to somebody in World of Warships. There's the uh, RX 460 video that I just posted a couple days ago. There's the 470, which I just posted this morning, actually. That was actually filmed about two weeks ago, but it was posted this morning. Let's go ahead and open up Firefox, shall we? So we've got two web browsers with a total of 10 tabs running. 
Let's open five more and get to 15, shall we? How about we go to Amazon.com and pull this laptop up so you can see it. And here we are, uh, dress shop girl, every single time, because I'm not logged into anything, do that many people buy dresses on Amazon? Maybe they do. If you've ever bought a dress on Amazon, comment in the comment section below. HP laptop. Let's see if that pulls it up. Sponsored links, yeah, great. Cheap ones, good ones, here we go. This is the hard drive version of this machine. In fact, if you go to this page, the current price is $459, 460. Under capacity, you can click to, to choose the 128 gigabyte version. 99 cents cheaper. It's four, 4.59 even, whereas it's 4.59.99, ah, it's a dollar. Don't make your decision on a dollar. So you can either get it with a 128 gig SSD, which this has, or a hard drive, which this doesn't. A hard drive has a lot more space, but it's slow. We're talking probably a two, two and a half minute reboot time versus the 15, 20 seconds or whatever it was on this. But your choice, no, you can't add more storage. Whichever one you buy is the one you're keeping, unless you upgrade it, but that's a pain in the neck. So there's no space in there to add another drive. Let's go ahead and open up some more tabs, shall we? Laptops, desktops, notebooks, monitors, and all electronics, which is a big page. Look at all the images. The delay you're seeing, I'm scroll as I scroll it down, the reason it's stuttering is because it's having to process and draw the page and retrieve all of the images and descriptions and format it. It's not bad. Now, do I have a ridiculous number of things running? Yes. For a $450 laptop with a two-core, four-threaded processor, this is overkill. But it just demonstrates that you're getting a good machine. Part of what you're seeing he here is that Intel i5 6th generation processor. Part of what you're seeing here is the 8 gigs of RAM, and part of what you're seeing is the solid state drive. And the reason is if we open Task Manager, this says the RAM is 75% used. It's actually all used. Cached, we have 2 gigabytes available, but the committed memory is 9.8 gigabytes. The memory is actually fully occupied. If you actually intend to open 15 tabs, upgrade the RAM. For $30, you can upgrade to 16 gigs. I actually don't think most people should upgrade it to 16. If you're buying a dual core laptop, eight's enough because I'm doing crazy stuff on here. Let's go back to those videos and see. Perfection. What more do you want? Oh, and they've switched and it's loaded a new video because actually that video is now playing twice, so it reached the end of a previous video and cycled to the next. How's our Yahoo pages going? What a machine. I remember 10, 15 years ago, buying a laptop that was three times as expensive as this and slow compared to desktops, whereas compared to your average maybe three to $400 desktop, this is just as fast, it includes the screen, it's portable, this whole thing weighs, how much does this weigh? It weighs, I haven't looked it up, four and a half pounds. And I haven't tested the battery yet, but I will do battery tests. I'll bet you this battery lasts four to five hours, even in use without complaint. Um, it's a very low power chip in terms of power consumption. Let me go ahead and close all these tabs and see how fast it closes them. completely totally responsive I love this machine check out my other reviews in the description below check out my links to Amazon in the description below for this machine I would buy it and use it as is I highly recommend the SSD version it's just that quick but you know the choice is yours because it is space limited at 128 gigs in fact I'll go ahead and show you that now how much space do you have free there's 84 gigabytes free and the only thing I've installed are the two web browsers so are you going to be able to download and install a lot of games and other big programs on this? No. 
You can put Microsoft Office, you can put two or three smaller games, but you are in fact space limited. Just be aware of that, but if you're okay with that point, good value for the money. Like the video if you like it, don't if you don't, remember to subscribe to my channel. It's the big huge red button right down there. If you've already subscribed, thank you, and if not, click it now. Uh, future videos, including a couple of game performance videos, I won't do tons, but I'll do some on this, as well as uh, I'll do an update on battery life in the future, and maybe a comparison with one or two other laptops. I do hardware unboxings, system reviews, various per uh, performance reviews, so click subscribe. Questions and comments go in the comment section below, and as I said, uh, the video description for links to this, to my other reviews, and to Amazon. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.